Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22. This is a verse tunasema kila wakati kila wakati. Inasema hivi The blessing of the Lord makes a person rich and he adds no sorrow with it. Praise God. Praise God. Kwamba the blessing of the Lord makes a person rich and he adds no sorrow with it. Nasema hivi baraka ya Bwana hutajirisha wala hachanganyi huzuni nayo praise god baraka ya bwana ufanya nini hutajirisha na wala hachanganyi huzuni pamoja na hiyo baraka bwana asifiwe jambo la kwanza ambalo nataka tugundue ni kwamba imesema the blessing of the lord meaning unaweza kuwa na kitu pia unaita blessing lakini haijatoka kwa nani kwa mungu praise god so the, what, kuna watu wanatembea, unaona wamebarikiwa, unaona wamebarikiwa. Na kawaida kama waumini, tunapenaka kusema, yani hata wenye dhambi. Na watu nasema hivu. Yani hama antaba, baba, baba, be, lakini wapa watu hama gimama ya. Sivu ndia tunasema. Yani watu, yani watu tunajua tu, ni majambazi, ni wakora, lakini wanaishi vizu. You are calling it a blessing. But is it a blessing really? It is not a blessing. Kwa sababu hata wewe unajua tabia yao iko questionable. Praise God. Tabia yao iko nini? Iko questionable. Ile ile number 3 pastor alikuwa anaita character. Ukitaka kulinda baraka. Kulikuwa na kitu alikuwa anasema character. Hata ukiwa na anointing, hata ukitia BD, hata ukifanya nini, kama character yako ni mbaya, uwezi linda, uwezi tunza. So it means kuna vitu zinaonekana ni kama ni baraka. Baraka. But when we look deeply into them, you will find it is not from the Lord. Na hiyo baraka iko na uzuni. But baraka ambayo tunaungelea hapa ni baraka ya buwana. Buwana asifiwe. Baraka ya buwana hutajirisha. Siu ati buwana anakupea utajiri. Buwana anakupea baraka. Na akikupatia baraka, hiyo baraka lazima utafanya nini? Utatajirika. Na nataka tukiena nyumbani during this week msome Deuteronomy chapter 28 mpaka chapter 31 kumbukumbu la Torati 28 29 30 30 31 28 inaongea kuhusu baraka ya Bwana and wakati nasema kuhusu baraka nilikuwa ninaangalia naangalia naangalia examples kwenda hapo chini what is this blessing Mungu anasema atatuondolea magonjwa. Unajua ukiondolewa magonjwa. Kitu ya kwanza, kitu ya kwanza ukiondolewa magonjwa, ile pesa ilikuwa inaenda kwa dawa, sasa inakuwa, si ndio? Ulikuwa unalala hauku unaweza kufanya chochote cha kuleta hela ama kubadilisha maisha yako. Sasa unaweza kusonga. Utakosa kuwa tajiri. Hii Kenya yetu kama madaktari, statistics zimeonyesha um, hali ya umaskini hata wakati tunasema umaskini sio tu bei kupanda peke yake hali ya afya ya watu wengi imewaletea umaskini if cancer knocks on your door mutauza kila kitu mpaka mjiuze inafika mahali the way we deal with our patients hapa wagonjwa ambao wako na cancer wagonjwa ambao wako na stroke wanafika mahali familia ikishaenda wanakuambia lakini punguzie hii safari ikiagera Ninajua ninaenda kufa. But for as long as niko hapa, watauza kila kitu. Nitakufa, nitawaacha bila chochote. Munge kuwa na uwezo, yani, nite, yani wana made short, kill me now. Kill me quickly. Because eventually ni maetenga, nitakufa. But the pain they have ni kuamba, watakufa after mumeuza, mume kila kitu ulikuwa unaenda kazini mume wako amekuwa mgonjwa mke wako amekuwa mgonjwa unajua lazima umpeleke hospitali uko naye kila siku uko naye kila siku mdosi upi atakuretain kazi atakuachisha si ndio ye mwenyewe mgonjwa hafanyi kazi wewe imebidi ukue mlinzi kazi yako imeisha hakuna mahali pesa inatokea ile akiba kidogo kidogo mlikuwa mumeweka mmetumia kama mlikuwa na insurance imeisha akiba mlikuwa nayo imeisha Munaangalia, munasema wacha tutue kuna ngombe, munauza. 
bado inahitaji pesa. Mnaita mchango watu wanaopea shilingi 10 kumi azitoshi. Wanaona kitawa kana tuko na ka 50 by 100 wacha tuuze. Kwa sababu human nature uwezi kaa tu uone mwenzako akifa. Uwezi kaa tu uone mpendo wako akifa. By the end of the day mumeuza kila kitu. Sorry alishikwa na nini nini ameiba sijui wapi unapigwa fine kila siku mtoto wako aliiba kuku ya mtu mtoto wako alivunja nyumba ya mwenyewe amechukua manguo. You, you are having peace. So you are comfortable. You are able to do what you need to do to get money, to change your life, to make your life better. Bwana asifiwe. So baraka haiko tu kwamba ati utapata pesa. Baraka iko na mambo mengine mengi zaidi ambayo yanakuwezesha unakuwa na hiyo amani ya kufanya kazi, unakuwa na afya, unakuwa na bidii. Akisema your land will not be barren. Wewe ni mkulima. That is the Lord's blessing. Kwamba wanyama wako, mifugo wako wataza. Shamba lako litafanya nini? Litaza. Kwa sababu kama we ni mkulima, tulikuwa na juzi, nilikuwa nasikia watu wanasema wanafanya tenda, una, 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 una supply. Umepanda mahindi ukiwa na kiwa, ukiwa na lengo kwamba by mwezi wa 8 nitakuwa nime harvest, nitapeleka mashu, mashule, si ndio? Alafu hiyo shamba umeweka 200,000 and you have two sacks gunia mbili za mahindi utajiri kwa hapo si ni madeni kwa sababu hata hata it, hata itoshi hata pesa ya kukod hiyo pesa ya hizo gunia mbili haitoshi pesa hata ulikodishia shamba so when god takes care of your land inaweza kuza that is the lord's blessing unaona hiyo baraka ikiwa utakosa kuwa tajiri uko na ngombe it is your source of livelihood Aishi kimbegu. Unaambiwa leta multivitamin, umeipea. Iwapatie di warmings, umeye. Enda mtoe mbegu kutoka sujiu wapi, umeleta. Aishiki. Kazi yake ni kukula na kuweleta kinyesi. Nyumba yako ni pama ni ntata utumio kinyesi. Ha? Na shamba maali unafanya ukulima, ayezi consume yo kinyesi yote ya ngombe. Are you getting rich? You are not. Kila siku unalipia chinsi yaga, unalipia mfanye kazi wa kulinda, but it is not bringing anything. But when God says they will not be fertile, zitakuwa zikizaana. Kama ija kuletea ya kutawa maz, ma, maziwa, ime kuletea ndume utauzia mtu. And you are getting rich. Praise God. Bona asifiwe. Ukwe na kukumia moja hazitagi mayai. Iyo ni baraka ama ni asara. Kwa sababu wezi kula kuku kila siku. Praise God. So when we are talking about the blessing of the Lord, the blessing of the Lord, sio tu ati niko na pesa. The blessing of the Lord ni kwamba, niko na mambo mengine yote ambaye yananipa nafasi kufanya kazi yangu, ambaye yananipa nafasi kutengeneza pesa, ambaye yananipa nafasi to take every opportunity. There are people who are rich, they don't have health, they are not working. Praise God. So when God says that the, my blessing, amta atiriwa na haya magonjwa, Mashamba yenu ya taza, watoto wenu ya taza, wakienda watarudi, ukijenga nyumba utaishi kwe. Unajua ime sema mpaka hivyo, kwamba ukijenga utaishi kwe hiyo nyumba. Kuna watu wanajenga na wanahamishu. Unanunua shamba na unakuwa kond. But the Lord is saying, hizo zote, imagine yo ni kitu tunemaji nafanyika hapa kisi. Lakini kutoka yo wakati mungu walikuwa naongea. Mwana wacha ni kimambia kila kitu kwa kwa baibu. <laughs> kila kitu kwa kwa biblia. Watu walikuwa wanakoniwa kutoka hiyo wakati. Unanunua shamba. Sazile umejenga tumefika hivi mtu anatokea. Anasema mimi ndio niko na title deed hapa. Haki unashanga. Ukaona tu nimenunua, nimekuja nimefence, nimekuwa nikileta material, nimeweka mpaka nimefikisha kerama, ndio unatokea, ndio unaona ati uko na title deed. Wengine mko nyumbani wazazi wamewagawia, brother yako anabadilika. Anakuwa color green anasema mimi hiyo part ndio mimi nilikuwa nataka kwa if kwa hizi shamba zote hapo ndio nafaa kupewa yet all the years you have been occupying that place praise god kwa hivyo mungu anasema kwamba hata hiyo atashughulikia that if you buy land nobody will con you if you build a house you will stay in that house if you engage a woman you will get married to that woman so when you're having peace, when you're not fighting with your brothers or sisters, when everything you have acquired is there, 
you definitely will become rich. Ukiwa unaona hata nyinyi mwenye mmenua mashamba, shamba yenye title deed haijatokea. Mnaweza jenga hata kama ulikuwa umepanga kujenga. Siku hizi ujengi unangojea kwanza title deed ifanye nini? Itoke. Na unaipea time kidogo. Unashinda ukipiga search usipate mtu mwingine tena ameuziwa. Hata kulima. We do the same thing if you acquire land. Praise God. Unajua ni kwa sababu gani hata magari ukinua lazima ufanye search kwa ujue logbook hiyo gari ilikuwa ya nani. You, you, we do all those things because there is a possibility that somebody can do what can call you. But also kuna watu. I know of people every time they acquire anything lazima ikuwe na maneno. Na kama uko hapa kwamba ukinunua shamba kila wakati ukinua shamba unakuwa short change. Sa zingine hata unaweza kukosa ku, kunyanganywa kabisa unapata umenunua rogoro hapo ndio umeshughulikia ume ukirudi next unapata mwenyewe amekuweka maadhi amepatia mtu amepatia mtu mwingine hapa rogoro still uko na shamba but that is not where you are that is not where you you stepped mali ulisimama ni rogoro but amekubadilishia amekwambia bwana eh, nikaona atie atia wacha nikupatie maadhi hiyo bado ni ukonman hata kama utakuwa na shamba yani utasema hata hivyo rende sijanyang'anywa niko na shamba but hiyo sio shamba because shamba yako so kuna watu mambo kama hayo yanatendeka kwa maisha yenu ukinunua chochote that is supposed to add value to you inakuwa tu na mambo hivi hivi inakuwa tu na mambo hivi hivi ama unapata ulikuwa umeona utanunua umepata pesa kidogo umeweka deposit suddenly money disappears eventually hiyo shamba Mwenyewe anauzia mtu anakurudishia pesa ulikuwa umelipa but you are very convicted hiyo shamba ilikuwa yako or you are very convicted hiyo gari ilikuwa yako or you are very convicted that business was yours kuna watu hapa unaenda kuchukua mzigo supplier anapotea na pesa yako hakupati mzigo hiyo ukonmanship inaisha kwa hii wiki that everything that belongs to us will be ours praise god and that is the blessing of the lord Bwana asifiwe. Kwamba uko na amani, unafanya vitu vyako, shamba lako limebarikiwa, wanyama wako wamebarikiwa. Twende kwa Deuteronomy chapter 8. Kumbukumbu la Torati. Hiyo 8:18. Inasema Let's start from verse 17. It says he did all this so you will never say to yourself I have achieved this wealth with my own strength and energy. Remember the Lord your God. He is the one who gives you power to be successful. In order to fulfill the covenant he confirmed to your ancestors with an oath. Praise God. Kwamba Bwana amepeana ahadi. Alipeana ahadi. My children will be the head and not the tail. They are blessed. Hizo vifu hiyo head not tail. Aiko kwa New Testament iko hapo kwa Deuteronomy 28 29:30 and ninapenda hii hii version yangu ya Biblia inasema kwamba it, it the lord our god is the one who gives me the power to be successful haijatumia hiyo ingine tumezoea kwamba he is the one who gives you the power to become rich or to create wealth being successful when we define successful sio pesa wakati tuna define success wakati tuna define success haikuange kuhusu pesa inakuanga kwamba kila kitu ambacho unafanya kina faulu kinakuwa vile ambavyo kilikusudiwa kuwa kila kitu bwana asifiwe ulikuwa unataka ndoa umepata mke umepata mchumba ambaye anafaa yani hata wewe wakati unakaa chini unasema yenyewe nimebarikiwa bwana asifiwe they do what they are supposed to do as spouses you have children unakaa chini unaangalia watoto wangu nimewalea wamesoma wako na adabu wamepita you know they have become people in society and when your children have become people in society if you are a, if you are a normal parent even without a job first you are content because kama mtoto wako anaweza faa wanadamu milango haiwezi fungwa forever do you know that mume wa ijua hivyo kwamba kama mtoto wako anafamu, ni mtoto anaaminika. Hiyo kitu kidogo anapewa afanye ameambiwa eh hii nyumba upanguze na upange. 
you go when you come back amepanguza na amepanga vizuri kabisa when they they are they are fit for god and they are fit for men one that is the greatest success and when that is there milango haiwezi kuwa imefungwa bwana asifiwe and the end your definition ya success sio pesa peke yake kwa hivyo when god says he's the one who gives us power and why are we here we are here because ninaamini kila mmoja aliye hapa ameokoka ni ukweli kila aliye hapa anamwamini huyu Mungu Jehova ambaye tunamwabudu na tunaamini kwamba yeye ndiye anayetupatia uwezo wa kufaulu kwa mambo yote wa kuwa matajiri and as he said kwamba above all things i pray that you be prosperous and of good health just as your soul prospers hiyo inamba this this scripture in Deuteronomy says that blessing of the Lord comes because moyo wetu unaambatana na kile ambacho Mungu anasema moyo wetu unakubaliana na Mungu akisema fanya hivi tunafanya na ukifanya hivyo baraka inakuandama Bwana asifiwe praise god and as we are here ninaamini kila mmoja ni mkristo na meamini Mungu na naamini neno lake siku ya leo baraka yetu imefunguliwa bwana asifiwe na you know uh, ndio, n- pia ni tufungue pia akili zaidi kwamba mimi unajua nasema hivi for as long as i can breathe na sijarukwa na akili i will do what i am supposed to do food will not aki siwezi kosa chakula siwezi kosa chakula you can still start from zero for as long as you still have the breath in you and you are strong and you are healthy you will still start from zero ni ukweli ama ni uongo ni ukweli ama ni uongo hebu tukate hizi code za mimi kwetu huko kirambauti kwetu huko nyanchogochogo nyamakoro to huko kwetu huko ekone sani me ah ah you are a child of god the king of kings the creator of the universe and everything that is in it bwana asifiwe so ukibadilisha akili yako inakuruhusu kuamini kwamba mahali popote utakuwa chochote utapata kufanya lazima kitafaulu bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe and unaambia uh, uh, embrace spirit ya pasta lakini kama una akili stable sana usimfuate sana unasikia msimfuate sana sisi unajua tunafanya kila kitu ni nini hatujawahi fanya haki hii kisi hii kisi tangu ni mjue tangu tuanze maisha hizo siku zaje tulikuwa tunatembea tunakula mapera na na, na avocado paka unajiuliza even some of his friends who are rich walikuwa wanakuja wananiambia haki baby girl kuna wale byaika inki wanche rago chandikan no mumroyo na anso baba bwa dinyo baba permanent yo mate when i was getting married there was no permanent housing in my in my in laws place we said i care about there was no permanent house my sister in law is here she she can be a witness and his friends were telling me ka kiora chandike bobe ka kino yani kama ni vitabu tume supply kama ni mahindi tume supply kama ni uniforms tume supply tume tume tumekuwa tunanunua manyapua ari tunauza praise god kazi ya kuandikia watu shule research tumefanya anything alikuwa anauliza pastor wao anauliza hivi ingeke ndeke mwanya bantu okokora eh na nti tindi mwanya bantu eh tiango tarage tema na kuwa kwa tema tunapata tumefanya because that is the way you will ask nga ikasie mwarenta ikasie mwanya bantu okokora tote bantu tebigunga e nche mnanda tindi mwanya bantu nga ngoro kama ni kuimba ameimba amefanya backup kama ni kuuza cd ameuza cd sio cd zile za hospitali cd ya muziki eh isishikwe vibaya we have done it tunafanya tumefanya biashara kama ni magari tumeuza kama ni so tumefanya ukulima tunafundisha 
niko kazi mimi ninaendelea kazi yangu mimi sijaiwaacha hata wale mnasema ati mna, tunakula pesa yenu atukuli mnaona vile mmeka hivi cha ndegete atujalipo mshahara tumetonya rivu tu kidogo ya one month but tunaendelea hiyo kazi and we are still working so whatever your hands finds to do i have seen it in him hii kulima hata kulima tunalima tumepanda mahindi ndio mliona hapa juzi tulipanda maharagwe simulei kula manyabuari hapa tulileta manyabuari tume tulileta watermelon hapa mkakula mkatutukana wengine wenu but mlikula si tuleta watermelon so it is workable wewe ndio uamini kwa akili yako kwamba as a child of god the blessing of the lord is upon me and whatever i put my hands to do it will succeed hii mikono vile inatakaswa by saturday Unaiangalia hivi unaiuliza wewe 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 Bora hiyo kazi inafanywa na wanadamu at the end of the day inakupatia pesa yenye tunatafuta ulipe school fees eh fanya kuwa uaminifu Mimi nimeleta vitenge kutoka Uganda nimeuza Nani wale wengine niliuzia hata wako maza kunilipa madeni Nimeleta rompas za watoto nikauzia watu hapa ndani Jemo si nileta rompas tukauza hapa ndani Nimeuza viatu Nikaleta vibeti tukauza Shida yenu ni kwamba nikileta mnaninyanyasa nikawacha Mnaanza kuniangalia na mauo ye mami mami muna hata hiyo wakati siko naitwa mnapita kwa pasta hivi Naambia pasta oh Ambia mamia tu understand alafu wana muri kuakana round ye chaacha <laughs> praise god bwana asifiwe but this thing that we are saying as god has as, as our hands are going to be sanctified and set free tell your mind to work with god ambia akili yako zaidi ya mambo yote ifanye kazi na mungu because akili yako ikikubali utaanza uta kujiambenga bwana ntende very important bwana eh, siwezi siwezi weza tell your mind unajiambia kwamba leo hii ndio kazi niko nayo and the bible says whatever i put my hands on so i am using my hands for this season ju ndio imeniweka hapa nimalize kazi nilikuwa nafanya i go to the next season praise god bwana asifiwe mnaelewa kwa nini mungu anataka tushughulikie baraka Mumeelewa kwa nini Mungu anataka maisha yetu yabadilike. Lakini zaidi ya yote, if your heart is okay with God and your mind has been changed, your hands will do anything and it will succeed and it will prosper. Mahali utakuwa unaguza. Inafaulu. And you will know with time as it passes. Unajua? Kwanga mnafungua masikio mnasikia. What what are people saying about you? Bwana asifiwe. Jacob was the carrier of the blessing. Akwenda kwa uh, akwenda kwa Laban na pesa. Akwenda kwa Laban na pesa, alikuwa anakimbilia maisha yake. Akaenda huko kwa sababu ya kutafuta pamenyo akamwambia I will do anything. In the process dia kaona kadem aka huyo mzee akakulia kwa huyo dem. Akasema, "Oh, unataka umsichana? Hasa chapa miaka saba hivi, hiyo pesa tulikuwa tukulipe, tulipe dauri." Akakaa hapo. But ikaenda le... Laban akakuwa tajiri kwa sababu gani Jacob akili yake ilikuwa blessing Ali... yeye ndio alikuwa baraka mwenye mwenyewe so ukishabadilika akili na umeelewa just know you are the one who's the blessing and anywhere you are it must be felt anything you find to do will succeed extraordinarily praise god